Roar! That means good evening, everybody. <laughs> hello. Um, hello. So we have a um, wild animal themed session tonight, yes, which we're do. very excited about. Um, but as usual, we will have some opening comments to get everybody settled, tuned up in their seats, drink in hand, snack on the table, wild animals behind you, whatever you need for this evening session. Um, this is a unusual session because um, Chris and I are leading and hosting. Double duty. Double duty. And we've done this two times before, <laughs> yeah. right? The first one, the first ever session. That's Yes. And yes. one other one. And one other one, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah we did the first one uh, that was in March, which is insane wow. that it's now July. Yeah. And we are still here doing this. Uh, we're very excited that that is the case, yes. but it seems strange. Um, so, as usual, if you need information, links, blah, blah, blah. I didn't put any animal factoids in the description. I should have, like, Easter eggs. Maybe I will after. Yeah. For the future people that are watching. Um, go down there. Are you talking to the future right now? I always talk to the future okay. on this show. It's quite fun. Okay. And sometimes people from the future write me back, actually. Yeah, that's They true. do. Yes. It's, it's great. Um, okay, so the description is down there, and it has all the links and information about this session, other stuff that is happening, Tune Supply stuff, um, the mailing list uh, is down there, and if you sign up for the mailing list, you can get a couple of the sets ahead of time to practice or learn. And um, also, don't forget that the contribution link is down there. It's also, oh, it's all in Chris's head now. Oh, yeah, I moved back. <laughs> it I'm, changed. I'm not sure how. I have, the, I have the Tunes of Lie logo, which is light today. Yes, it's like the, the, the bird is in the jungle today, yeah. actually. Um, so the contribution link is important because, um, unfortunately, money makes the world go round, and that is how we pay all of our guests and leaders and keep this thing going, um, is through your contributions. So um, throw a few bucks in there if you can, and I'll put the link in the, um, in the comments as well. Um, I, w I guess I won't be typing in the comments as much today. Yeah, that's true. A little bit. Uh, okay, and I mentioned that today's theme is wild animals. This is only the second animal theme that we've had, which is weird because I love animals so much. Um, and we had an amazing response to the wild animal theme. Um, there are so many pictures and videos that you guys sent in that we're actually just mostly going to see those in between the sets. Yep. There's not really going to be anything else from us. I have a few pictures, but I didn't even throw very many in because there are so many good ones from you guys, including a whole bunch of videos. So um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be like half animals, half tunes, Yeah. which is the least, way it should be. It's at least half animals, if it's, not more. It's great. It's going to be great. Um, okay, and the other interesting thing about tonight is we are going to play, be playing common tunes at uh, slow to medium speeds. Because we realize this is a play at home, uh, play along at home session, and we've had so many great people. Some of them play tunes that are obscure. For example, we had the, uh, the theme of obscure tunes, yep. which is great. And some of them play on the fast side. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance to play along. Now, I just want to make a comment about the word common tunes. This is a very um, person by person, session by session term. Sure. Um, the tunes that I think are common to the Mario session are not going to be common to other people's sessions. Um, so I'm hoping that I've picked a few at least that everybody knows. But uh, the Mario's original folks at least will recognize, I think, all of these tunes. And they are very common at the Mario session, which hopefully in the future is going to resume. And if you don't know these tunes, you can learn them and come uh, and play with us. In the future, so. everyone who has been at the virtual session will descend upon the real Mario session. There won't be enough room. And it will it'll be the largest <laughs> session ever. <laughs> that sounds great. We could probably take over that block yeah. of Avenue A, yes. have, a, have a, a block party. That sounds really fun, actually. Mm -hmm. Like a one block wide session. Yeah. OK, well, it will happen. We'll make it happen in the future. Um, Great. Okay, and before we start with the first set, I just have to give a plant update. Great. Um, you notice that the plant right there, the jungle-looking plant, is back, and that is because the plant tower has been harvested and put away. Yep. And I, I remembered after the session that I forgot to show you the most ridiculous of the plants. That was, I mean, the tiny cucumber was ridiculous, but the most ridiculous one. So let's see a picture of this most ridiculous thing. Um, this is romaine lettuce. Looks just like a romaine lettuce. Uh, yeah, and here's how long it is, just so you can see it in comparison to me. Um, yeah, it's that long. So um, 
Yeah, we grew the longest romaine lettuce in the world, and we ate it this morning in a tiny salad uh, that was about this big. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's the end of the plant update. And we have our lovely plant named um, Spruce, li who lives back here, is back in the picture. Very exciting. Um, OK, so let's have some tunes. That sounds good. So none of these tunes have to do with animals. Oh, one does, but it's not a wild animal in this first set. I forgot what's in the first set. So. Well, I'll tell you. Great. It's My Darling Asleep, Jimmy Ward's, and the spotted dog. Oh, now, a spotted dog okay. is not a wild animal. I guess it could it be. It could be. The could spotted be. wild dog. The spotted, yes. We'll do the That's spotted dog. That's like the minor version. <laughs> or it's in like E major or some yeah. weird major key. Yes. Um, okay, so we'll start with these ones. And um, I, I picked My Darling Asleep first because every time I play Mario's, I'm pretty sure I start with this tune. Not on purpose. It's just, I do. I don't know why. So we'll start off with that and... Um, Hope you can play along, not too fast here. Not too fast. Not too fast. Okay. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Well, that was a very well-behaved wild spotted dog right. at the end. Um, that was lovely. Excellent way to get started. Um, I was wooing for something you were doing and then oh, I messed up. I did too, actually. You startled <laughs> oh, me. Oh no. <laughs> we're startling each other. This yes, is off to a bad to a start. start. Yeah. And we don't even have uh, anybody to go to, so they're just going to have to put up with us. <laughs> to put up with extra awkwardness yes, today. Yes, yes. Hope you're all excited. Um, yes. And also, you know, uh, today is supposed to be the first day of the Swananoa gathering. Right. And it's also Catskills Irish Arts Week. Right? Yes, it's yeah. also, so Swananoa is not online, uh, did not move online, right. although they are releasing um, videos from the teachers every day Right. on Facebook, I think. So you should go over there and see. Um, I may or may not have made one, but I think other people did. have. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Definitely I did. did. I did. Um, there's lots of videos over there. And then the Catskills did go online. So I think a few of our folks are over there. Um, they might have a concert or something. Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, I just saw Margot Krimmel has stepped by in the comments. Oh, thanks hello. For, thanks for joining us. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's get started on all these um, excellent pictures. Oh, and I just want to note that Chris and I are going to get really sweaty. Yes. Because usually we turn the air conditioner on for a few moments when we go to a video, but um, uh, that's not going to be happening. So we're gonna, you're just going to see us sweat here because it's summer in New York. That's yep. how it works. Yep. Okay, so we're starting off some, with some really good um, animal content here. My friend uh, Tim Satry, Satry, I think it's how you say it. Tim, if you're in the comments, remind me. I know you told me, but I forgot. I'm bad with names. Um, he lives up in Fairbanks, Alaska, where I'm from, and um, works for Alaska Airlines and, and gets to travel a lot. And he sent in uh, two amazing sets of pictures and video. This first one is of the uh, Kermode Spirit Bear. And I'm just going to get my notes because I have to make sure I have this right. So these are bears that live in the Great Bear Rainforest of northern British Columbia, Canada. It's not an albino or a polar bear. It's a northern black uh, bear with a genetic mutation. And there's only about a couple hundred of them, and they can only be seen in this area. And they um, have... Uh, they exist in families and populations with their traditionally colored siblings. So there's some brown and some of hmm. this interesting golden color. Very cool. And they are revered by the indigenous population and a very spiritual sight to encounter. And he got to see them in person, which is not something that very many people get to do. So oh, yeah. it's very cool. And he sent in a little clip yeah. of these bears um, uh, catching fish, which, um, which I think we should go see. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Very cool. If you're just joining us, this is the Mario's Nature Show. <laughs> the Mario's Nature Show, yeah. episode one. I think based on how many pictures and videos were sent in, it should always be Wild Animal Week at Mario's. Yes. Um, because I feel like it might be an um, inexhaustible source of material. Sure. Um, so that is our first excellent submission from um, the community, from Tim. Thank many you. Many more to come. Many more to come. And in fact, a whole bunch more bears to come if you're specifically a bear fan. Yeah. And I actually have two of my own bears uh, back here. On the, on the right is Buzzy Brown Bear, who is my childhood bear, like from when I was a baby. And this is this bear actually never got named, but it's made out of alpaca, and it's really soft. Mm. Oh, they can't see it very well. It looks like this. So those are, oh, uh oh, collapse. Toast. Um, so those are we've got uh, bears at the session and bears on uh, the screen. Um, we'll have a few more in a minute. Um, but maybe we should have some more tunes first. All right. Yeah, that sounds good. Are you hot enough? I'm. Mean, yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I wanted to play some polkas. Whenever I think of polkas at Mario's, I think of James Cleveland because he always, not always, but most of the time, accompanies the polkas on the grand piano. The baby grand? Is it baby grand? Or yeah, it grand? yeah, I think it's a baby. Baby grand um, piano that is at Mario's. I think it's the only session I know of that has a baby grand piano and a disco ball. Right. 
and a very lovely And we use them at the same time. We do use both of those things at the Mariana session. It's quite spectacular. Yes. Um, and usually James will accompany the polkas, which is really fun. Um, Chris is going to accompany, of course, today, but James Cleveland is on the next session. On Thursday. On Thursday. That's right. Yes, I think he's playing violin, not piano, but he, he will. He is playing violin. He will be. Um, and also joined by Fong Sullivan. Yes, Fong is also going to play, so it'll be some. Very fun. Mario's originals. Anyways, let's play some polkas. So the first one, I think we played this recently, but I wanted to reprise it. Uh, the Rakes of Mallow is the first one. Then the Maids of Arda, which I taught in the previous Irish Art Center semester, and finished up with Egan's, the classic, classic Egan's, uh, to end off with. And again, we won't play these too fast, and I hope my level two students from Irish Art Center can join in, if possible. I'm listening, uh, Robert Yelk, through the East River corridor. We can hear you. So we can hear you playing along, hopefully. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, let's one? see. It goes. All right. And let's go. It's probably a good speed there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two. Three, four. <laughs>
there was some fancy like uh, what was that early 1900s jazz going on over there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, amazing. That was great. Um, Gail Accardi in the comments said. Um, we're learning that tune tomorrow in the Irish Rite Center class, and I thought it was last semester, so this just goes to show how messed up my sense of time is right yes. now. So future Irish Rite Center students, we're speaking to you when we say, um, I did teach this tomorrow in the class. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, oh, this is I, weird. This, this is getting is, weird. It's getting weird. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are having weird time uh, dilation issues. I'm certainly feeling like time yeah. is operating really strangely lately. But. Yeah. Um, okay, let's go see some pictures because oh, we have a ton of pictures. Now, I just want to say, before we go to the pictures, there are a lot of pictures, and I tried to memorize everything that everybody told me about them in the emails, yeah. but I'm probably going to get something wrong, but I'm going to try not to. You should help me okay. with this. Okay, so we have two batches. This is the first batch of community pictures for today. Uh, okay, and guess who's first? Oh, Angela Botzer. Angela Botzer. A mom with twin deer. Now, I don't know if that's uncommon or not, because I don't know deer very well. Yeah, Do you? I don't. Um, it's quite cute, though. I don't though. know any deer, actually. <laughs> um, okay. 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 And um, we have oh. a... Oh, that is an animal I know. This is a moose. Yeah. Although I don't think it's in Alaska. It's in no, this Idaho. Is Idaho moose, yeah. Yeah, but that's a big bull moose. And um, this is from... Uh, pair of um, roommates who have sent in pictures before, and I don't know if I'm saying uh, one of their names correctly. So I think it's Anya. Mm -hmm. do, is, do you think that's, that's correct? That's what I think, okay. but I, we could be wrong. And I should know how to pronounce that, but I yeah. don't. So Anya and Juliana have sent in some pictures, okay? And oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, wow. <laughs> a beaver. That's great. Okay, excellent. This one is entitled Pizza Birds. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, this is in New York, home of the Pizza Rat. If you don't know about the Pizza Rat, Google that after Look the session. That, yeah. yeah. Um, and this is a wild turkey. Now, um, oh, this is a petite wild turkey. It does look petite. And um, I was just talking to my student Will about wild turkeys, and he was saying that they're not very smart. And I think this Anya said this as well. Yeah. Um, but apparently, they do fly. Yeah. Which I just can't oh. imagine it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, Bob Beamer sent this wild animal in. If you look closely on the horizon there, you can see Avocado's grandfather yeah. standing wow. there. And he said this was taken at the uh, right after, the I think, the 1962 World's Fair trip that he yeah. took. Amazing. That's cool. I wonder if it's still there. Um, okay, a couple pictures from the Garvin kids. So I was just teaching Will Garvin um, yesterday, and he showed me all of these really cool animal things that he has. Um, and here are a few pictures that they sent in. I think this is a salamander, I think. Um, I'm not actually sure what this is. It's a bug, a big some bug sort of some sort. Or bug, yeah. Right? yeah, and it looks like it had a munch of the leaf above yeah, there, too. Good. So maybe Suzanne is watching, she can tell us. And oh, this, beautiful. okay, this is a Luna moth. And um, Will showed me the, le the sorry, the leaves, the um, wings of the Luna moth. They look like leaves. They do look like leaves. And he said that the birds will eat the bodies and tear off the uh, wings of yeah, the Luna moths. Right, right. I was obsessed with those when I was a kid. Harris Rothman sent this beautiful picture of a loon. I love the mm. call of loons and also the um, coloring pattern. Yeah. The calls are so eerie sounding. Cool. Those guys are in Alaska. I mean, not Harris. I think Harris is in Maine, but the loons are also in Alaska. Okay, and to finish off this batch, we have uh, Sarah Pearl's cat on the left and Rogan uh, McNally, McNally's dog on the right, and they have named this picture. Hold on, i got to get my notes. It's called... The catting ram, sorry, the catting ram and the pup in the chair. That's excellent. Play on a couple of Irish tunes there. Very good. Very good. We haven't had a picture submission from uh, the, the power Sarah team yeah. of, uh, well, the supper club also, mm -hmm. but the power team of Sarah and Rogan who have submitted some amazing pictures. So of thank you. Um, okay, good. And um, continuing with the nature show. Oh yes, we have just a few more pictures that are all in a group, and they're from Jill. Jaeger, and this is pretty cool. So she said um, she, this is in Mexico. I don't know if she was there for work or living, but um, she rescued a mockingbird. And here are a few pictures of the um, story of the mockingbird. So this is day number one, oh, baby. Maybe it fell out of a nest or something. Mm. I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> this is day number four. Huh. 
Hungry. Hungry, yeah. Okay. I don't know what day this is, but the caption is eating by himself, which Very is nice. always a good thing to be doing. Yeah. And then we have learning to fly. Wow, that's mm -hmm. cool. So this bird lived in their house for a while. And then the last one, uh, free but taking food. So she said that for the next um, two years, it would come when it was called. It was wild. They released yeah. it. It would come when it was called and take food from their hands. Oh, wow. That looks so like a delicious cool. little worm or it something does, there. It does. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay, so um, that's we have more pictures. D don't Way worry. More. We have more pictures. It's like not even the half of it. <laughs> um, and I'm, of course, really enjoying this session. I could just show nature pictures all day instead of playing tunes. But, but actually, maybe we should transition into we should transition a into nature soon. show, a oh. call-in nature show. Okay, well, we are going to Alaska soon. Yep. And we could do a nature show. Yeah, easily. Mm, that's a good idea. Um, okay, but right now, we, ha we actually have three special guests to save you all from listening to us um, prattle on for the whole show. And the first guest is coming up here. This is Dan Walsh, and he's from England. We have not met him. He was yeah. recommended to Tune Supply. Um, and it's, I've said this many times, it's so weird and cool that we get to work with people that we've never met. Yeah. But we both are um, in love with Dan and his playing and his personality. He did a virtual learning um, lesson for us if you want to learn some stuff. The cool thing about him is he plays traditional music on the Clawhammer banjo. Yes. Which is a little unusual. So let's go have some Dan Walsh. Right. And I'm going to turn on the air conditioning. Great. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, greetings from Shrewsbury in England, um, where it's very wet. Um, and uh, my name is Dan Walsh. And uh, it's really amazing to be asked to be uh, a guest at uh, this virtual session. Um, thanks so much to Caitlin and Chris for asking me and for all the amazing work you're doing uh, with Tune Supply, um, helping us musicians get through this crazy time. Um, I'm going to play three reels for you on the banjo, uh, starting off with um, Morning Star in G, and then into Cooley's reel in E minor, and then we'll finish off with the Moon Coin reel at ones in D. And um, I'll play through each one three times, and we'll uh, we'll have a good old session. So thank you so much for having me. It's great to be great to be. Uh, virtually here uh, and we'll start off with morning star here we go one two three <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, everyone. Stay well. All right. Woohoo! Thanks, Dan. Um, so if you like Dan's playing, um, you can go over to the virtual learning page at Tunes Apply or on this YouTube channel down in the um, virtual learning playlist. And he's got a lesson there um, from a month or two ago yep. that he did. And I think, didn't he have, doesn't he have a book too? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I think he has a book and recordings and all sorts of other things. So go check out Dan. He's excellent. We hope to play with him uh, together at some yes. point. So thanks for joining us from across the ocean, Dan. Um, okay, so at the sessions, I usually try to eat something that is related to the session or just eat something. I like eating. So um, I was trying to think, well, what am I going to eat for wild animals? Because we might have some vegetarians. I don't want to I don't want to eat anything too strange. Like I am an Alaskan, so I have eaten some strange wild animals. But I settled on it is an animal, but it's a fish. So I think it's OK. But um, and this was Chris's recommendation. So. Does anybody know what this is? I wonder. Hmm. Alaskans might know. Um, this is what I call jar salmon. Not jarred salmon, but jar salmon. I don't know if that's correct, but this is what I've called it since I was a child. I used to be really grossed out with, by this when I was a child, and then I ta eventually tasted it, and it is the best thing ever. It's a preparation that is often made by uh, native people in Alaska. Not a lot of the... Um, city dwelling uh, people can get the recipe right on this and I actually don't exactly know how to make it. Usually you have to trade stuff for this. My dad will sometimes trade um, Super Cub flights, airline flights wow. for, um, for meat or for fish and then sometimes if I'm really lucky he will give me a jar of salmon which yeah. is really the best gift that anybody can give um, or receive. And I have to, I'm going to eat some in a minute, but I just have to tell you my favorite jar salmon story. Okay. Great. So it involves Isaac Alderson. Oh. So Isaac and Dan Lowry and um, Alan Murray and all sorts of other people, Marta Cook, all used to live in a house in, in the South Bronx together. It was an exciting place. And um, sometimes Isaac would hold uh, like street parties and you had to bring your own food, whatever you wanted. There was a grill so you could grill things. And um, one time I brought jar salmon. And I like to I like to get people to try weird Alaskan foods. I'm pretty successful at it, would yeah. you say? So Isaac has a friend um, who is a vegetarian or a vegan, I can't remember. And um, I said, you know, you've got to try this. Like, it's wild salmon. It was happy in its stream. Um, it was happy up until the moment that it perished, and, and you just got to try it. And he, he wouldn't try it. He wouldn't try it. So at the end of the party, he said, okay, I'll try just a little. There was only a little bit left. So he took a bite of it. And his face, it just looked like he was in complete yeah. bliss. <laughs> and um, he ate the rest of the little piece. And then, this is the best part of the story. You see all this salmon juice in here? He proceeded to drink the salmon juice mm. from the jar. I'm not even sure that I would do that. It was my, it's one of my favorite stories. Yeah. And he ended up actually marrying an Alaskan girl in Alaska. Mark. Last year or the year before? Yep. Keith Watson. That's his name. Okay, and I'm going to have a little piece right now. Do you want some or are you grossed out? Um, no, I'll try a little. Just... I don't think I've had this, actually. So they get to see your reaction on screen. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you haven't given this to me. It's very valuable. Yeah. I don't give it to just anybody. Thank you. Okay. You oh, should probably nice just okay. eat that whole thing. Great. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's good. Go cool, right. It's really good. It's really good. We won't drink the juice on on camera because mm. it would be messy. But, anyways, if anybody from Alaska ever gives you jar salmon, don't say no. Even if you don't want it, bring it to me, and I will eat it. Okay. Are you having more? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, on the note of bears, before we play some tunes, I just want to show you a picture. Peter Rayhill sent a, a picture. Excuse me. Of brown bears at Brooks Lodge, which is in Alaska, famous place to go see bears. And he said, did you know that there's a live camera on the bears? This is the place that has the um, fattest bear competition every yeah, year. Yeah, Fat Bear Week, every September or yeah, October or something. Yeah, Fat Bear Week. So guess what? We went to we did. Brooks Lodge last year. last year, and we are going to show just a few pictures. This is how you get to Brooks Lodge. The only way to get there is to fly on this plane, which is a commercial plane, or fly your own plane. Um, but it so, has to be a float plane. There's no landing yeah, strip. Yeah, it has to be a float plane. You walk down the end of the float right there onto a piece of uh, plywood that yep. they put on the ground the, and um, wrote right onto this beach. 
Um, and everywhere around you, like just on the beach when you get off the plane, there's bears. And you can see one here. What they're doing is um, eating massive amounts of the salmon that you see in the water right there. Um, there's so many salmon right here that it can support a big population of bears, which is kind of unusual. And here's another uh, fatty, getting to be fatty bear. Mm -hmm. We went in September, so they were nearing their, um, their maximum fatness. And here's one standing on the falls, which is the famous place to see them. They, they catch the bear, they catch the salmon as they jump up the falls. And this guy has just caught, um, caught one. And nice is, looking salmon. There. Yeah, and is eating it. So those are some uh, from Brooks Lodge Brooks, pictures. Brooks uh, Falls pictures there. Yeah, and you can go there. It's really expensive and hard to get there. Or you can just go watch the live stream at any time, like yeah. right now. Well, yeah, it's still light in Alaska. You yeah. could go watch the live stream. So it's pretty cool. And um, I'm also going to show a few other bear pictures before we get play tunes because right. we're on the subject of bears and we have salmon in our mouths just like bears. And it's the Mario's Nature Show. And it's the Nature Show. So, so these are some other bears in Alaska. And these are even more serious. Polar bears. Whoa. Ooh. Okay, so this is a mom polar bear on the left with two babies. These pictures Those are, are babies? Yep. They're, okay. <laughs> These pictures, the first couple ones are also from um, Tim Satry, who sent in the uh, Kermode bear right. pictures. Um, these bears live up in Kaktovik, Barter Island. Look, the baby is sleeping on the mom there. Yep. The other baby's really dirty. Um, they live up in Kaktovik, Barter Island, um, north coast of Alaska. And um, in normal times, you can take a plane up there, oh, foot in the air, mm -hmm. um, and go see these bears. Uh, they are here because they are eating a whale carcass that um, the villagers are allowed to catch once a year. Right. Um, and so a large population of polar bears. Look at that baby. This is mm -hmm. one of my pictures. Very fluffy. Um, I got a chance to go up there one year because the tour company that runs this uh, is my family's um, air service or was, it, it has since been sold. Now, uh, this picture, I hope I don't gross anybody out, but behind me are the carcasses of a bunch of whales. And uh, that is the reason that the bears come is because they eat the, um, the remaining flesh off of the whale carcass. So here is a polar bear print next to someone's hand. This was somebody in my tour group. So you can see how big the um, paw prints are. They are just massive. And I think that's not even a full grown one there. Yeah, probably but. not. Wow. Um, so, um, it's hard for me to look at these pictures sometimes because I know that the polar bears are not doing well with climate change, right. but they are spectacular animals if you get a chance to see them or, um, in pictures, they're just amazing. I have other stories, but I'm, we will move on for now. Um, okay. Tunes. Oh, we, oh, have, we a have a video. video actually. Oh, this, yeah, this, this is, is from Tim. This is cool. Um, Satri, video of polar bears. Here we go. Those are so big. <laughs> At first one was a baby. So, big. <laughs> so it's like, oh, there's a big polar bear. And then the mom head pops up. Yeah. It's so big. It's, an, it's absolutely incredible thing to see. And um, yeah, amazing. So Alaska is a cool place. Someday I'm going to start my Alaska tourism company. Yes. Once we can fly again, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Um, okay, let's play some tunes. It's been a while. Great. Um, uh, so I was thinking some reels next. And we'll go like medium speed on these ones because we've done a bunch of slow stuff. Um, I mean a true medium though, not yeah, fast. Yeah, not like a medium that becomes fast. No, just yeah. a nice medium. And these again are common Mario's tunes. The first one is Lad O'Byrne. Um, this is for Bob Armistead. I think it's one of his favorites. It's also one of my favorites. Then we'll do uh, Star of Monster in the normal key of A minor. Great. And finishing off with Humors of Tulla, which is a single reel in the key of D major. So we'll maybe play that one more time than the others. We'll, I'll call it out as we go. We'll see how we're feeling. Great. Okay. Uh, let's see. How about maybe um like that? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four.
We need a woo, I think, or something. Yeah, oh, I, I don't have them loaded in to the oh, soundboard no. because I got a new computer. Oh, he did get a new computer. And I forgot to load in the woos. Oh, that's okay. We can make the woos today. Woo! That was very similar to, um, whose who's was it? Oh, I can't remember the name. There was one that had a nice high, like, woo! Yes. Like that, I can't remember the name. Um, yes, uh, Chris just got a new computer. It's really fancy. It's sitting right there, and it's, uh, it's nice. It's fast. Yes, but we've discovered that the fan is a little bit louder than yeah. the previous computer. So you might be able to hear it. We're not sure. Yeah. We'll fix it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it is the halftime, well after the halftime. Eh, a little bit after the halftime. Yeah. And uh, we are very excited to welcome back Mimi. Great. Our resident uh, poet, poet laureate. master. Poet laureate. Oh, yeah. poet laureate. I like that. For um, a poem which may or may not include wild animals. Great. Hi, Mario's friends. Here's our bad poem. Tonight we celebrate animals wild. Some are ferocious, some meek and mild. Even us human beings, even human being teens. Although some of us do need our hair restyled. Thank you, Caitlin and Chris. You are so amazing. You show up each week with bow and keys blazing. You do such great shows and then there's avocado. We run out of words when you, we start praising. Please chip into the box if you can, help keep us going. Thank you so much to all of you who, who are joining us this week and on Thursday as well. And eat your kibble. Bye. Uh, who was that other dog? I don't know. Did that she didn't Amos, say, right? Amos and, no, she didn't say. Amos and a friend. It's a mystery. Yes. Um, they also look like they might not be in Manhattan anymore. Uh, so I support that. Yes, that's true. Um, that was great. So that was Amos on the right. Mimi's new, do new dog. Now I want to know. Is Mimi here? I haven't I seen her. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we'll have to figure that out. That was great. Um, so, as usual, at the halftime, we remind you to throw some money into the contribution box, which is on Chris's head today. Yeah. Um, and it's down in the description. And we've sometimes been putting it in the links, although we are playing, oh, so yeah, we I can't can type. It oh, Chris can do it. Um, and uh, your contributions are how we keep this going. So, um, it's weird to ask for money on a day that we're leading. I feel a little uncomfortable about this, <laughs> but uh, your contributions will go to pay us tonight, actually, and then also to keep this whole thing um, rolling along. I just wanted to tell you that we have booked the rest of the July uh, sessions, finally. Yes. That took me a long time, but they are booked through the end of July. Um, the last one in July is really exciting. It's all three of the Valley brothers. Yes. Uh, Killian... Um, Nile. Nile and Cleaving. Yes. Which is going to be amazing. Epic. So, epic. And there's yep. other epic stuff coming up. So just uh, go check the schedule. The only thing is that we are not going to have a session on Monday the 27th because Chris and I will be heading up to Alaska for a, a little bit. We don't know how long. A couple weeks, a couple months, who knows. Um, but we'll need a day to get reset up in Alaska. But we will reward you when we come back with pictures of dogs and animals and scenery. Yeah. So there you go. Um, okay. So, oh, I have the picture. Oh. Here's the picture oh. of the box. Yeah, chip in. There was no box appearance. There was in no the, box in the appearance. Poem. So yeah. chip in the box if you can. Here yep. is a nice looking Guinness and the box and Mimi and Kevin. Remember when we could drink Guinness in a glass? No. <laughs> it feels like actually. a year ago or something. Yeah. Um, I just, uh, Facebook reminded me that a year ago yesterday, Broadway had the big um, blackout. Oh, yes. That was, yeah, wild. And there you was, said yeah, that, that's probably the wildest thing that w would ever happen on Broadway. Yeah. We, there was a blackout that shut down all of Broadway and half of Manhattan, and yeah. we all thought it was the craziest thing that could possibly happen. Yep. <laughs> and here we are. And then here we are. <laughs> Anyways, okay. We're glad to be here with you, of course, if we can't be... Um, well, I would rather be here, actually, probably. Been playing on Broadway. Yeah. This is a lot more fun. Uh, um, I yeah. wanted to point out that my I saw in the comments my friend Ken has stopped by again. Oh. Hello, Ken. And he was wondering if I got a haircut. Um, I, in fact, did. Yes. And he was also wondering how I was going to get back to D at the end of that last tune. I was um, wondering that, too. I was also wondering that, Ken. So um, <laughs> luckily it all worked out. But, you made it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the new computer. That's yeah, how I got yeah, back. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have another special guest. This is very exciting. I'm... I'm really glad for anybody who's watching right now because this is going to be the highlight of this of this of the night, I think. Well, um, that and the bears. Well, the bears, of course, but this is a this is a different animal. So you know, avocado, our dinosaur, um, 
he hasn't been wearing his glasses, but he ran out of context, he or she. So the glasses are back on. Yeah. Um, but anyways, Avocado um, said that he or she wants to show something on session today. So we loaded it up and uh, we're going to go see what it is. Did you want to show these pictures? Oh, maybe. Should I show them after? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. Let's go see this video first. Hi, Mario's. Hi, Chris. Hi, Caitlin. My name is James Yoshizawa. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm very happy to be back on this session again. So I'm going to be accompanying you guys. Uh, I'm a percussionist, so this will be percussion only for the accompaniment, meaning you guys get to pick the tunes. So I'm going to play a two-part jig three times, then a two-part reel three times. So any two-part jigs and two-part reels that you guys know that you want to play, um, it's your choice. Um, so uh, something that's kind of special about this, as you guys know, I've been teaching avocado bauron lessons uh, remotely on Zoom. And uh, because the theme of this is wild animals, avocado wanted to be a part of this. Now, I know technically avocado is domesticated, but hey, uh, if he or she identifies as a wild animal, who am I to judge? Uh, so this will be a cool chance for a student-teacher duet. Okay, so first I have to call up Avocado on Zoom, and once I get that set up, we'll get started. Okay, so I have Avocado here on Zoom, and we're going to accompany you guys. So um, remember, it is a two-part jig, three times, two-part reel, three times. The tunes are your choice. Here we go. One, two, one. Two, three, four.
over. The tune's over. Okay, so Avocado is a really great student. Um, very passionate about the music, um, very serious about the instrument. We work a lot on technique. We work on rhythmic interpretation, style, all that stuff. Um, we have not talked a lot about session etiquette. That's my bad. We'll fix it. It'll be better next time. Okay, well, thank you, Mario's. Uh, this was fun. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Wow. That was a lot to oh that was a lot to take in there. Oh my god. Oh wow. my god. Oh god. We didn't even know. We had no idea. Um I'm not sure when Avocado is doing Zoom classes because no. we're literally in the house twenty four seven. Yeah. It must be the occasional time we go outside and walk two hundred feet down to the water. Right. Oh my God, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, well, thank you to James Yoshizawa for yes. teaching um, so Avocado good. so well and for um, sharing that video with us. <laughs> it was spectacular. Um, if you want to learn Bauron from James Yoshizawa, he has done some uh, videos as well on the virtual learning um, series for Tune Supply, which you can find on this YouTube channel. And he is also for real, in real life, an incredible teacher. Yes. For real. So you can take lessons um, online with him if you like. Uh, He's also doing Zoom master classes every, oh, yeah. every so often. I think he might have done one or two of them. Yeah. Baron classes on, like group classes on Zoom. Go friend him on Facebook yeah. and, or you can, if you need his email, we can hook you up. I think he's in the comments too. So. He is in the comments. James, he can tell us. Do some self-promotion in the comments. <laughs> um, that was incredible. All right. <clears throat> okay. So I wanted to share some old pictures of James because I like doing that. And uh, James right. and I met a long time ago, probably almost eight or 10 years ago at the Fairbanks Summer Arts Festival. And so um, I don't have any super old pictures, but these I think were from three summers ago. This is from a hiking trip we did on Angel Rocks outside of Fairbanks. Uh, that's James, of course, and Dan Lowry, um, Caitlin Golding, me, and Alan Murray at the top of uh, is this, Angel Rocks. I think this, is that a Denali, though? No, this is at Angel Rocks. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I can tell because I, I that rock. Oh, that yeah, I can yeah, tell yeah. the type of rock. I see. Um, okay, and then... <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't really know. I don't remember what was going on in this picture, but I love it. And so I wanted to put it on session. Yeah. Because uh, it's great. James has just eaten a salad. <laughs> yeah. And he's almost through his fourth beer. beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, so that's at Pike's in Fairbanks. A yeah. great place to hang out in the, in the summer if you ever come up. That was a good one. Okay, uh, cool. And we do have a picture from Avocado's new friend. Oh, yeah. New pen pal, um, Chip. And... Chip, Chip's parents uh, ordered some cookies from the cookie deal that we were having and then ate all of the cookies without giving any and to Chip. Chip didn't get any. Yeah. Oh, no. The caption on this was, they ate them all, which was just <laughs> oh, sad. No. So we were thinking that we might have to make some dinosaur-sized cookies yeah. to send Chip and other uh, dinosaurs out there. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We still have some flour left. So. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, one more little thing before we play some tunes. Felicia sent us a video of her wild animals that live in her house. Right. Okay, here we go. This is a shark. This is a little shark. This is a lobster. Can lie down, lobster? Good job, lobster. Oh, you're such a good lobster. Oh, lobster training is so... Come here, shark. Come. Baby, baby shark. Come here. Can you sit? Oh, good girl shark. She's a girl shark. Little lobster. Sorry, Who has a lobster and a, and a, a shark. shark in their house? That's um, incredible. That seems like a bad combination because I think sharks might eat lobsters. Yeah. Maybe. I uh -oh. don't know. Um, those were some cute little wild animals in Felicia's house. Uh, thank you, Felicia, for sharing your wild animals. 
Um, okay, so finally, we're going to have some more tunes. So the first one here is the Slocket Light, and I want to play this for Pete Shug. I don't know if he's watching right now, but um, I associate this tune with him now. I, at first, I associated with uh, Marty Baldridge, who um, is the mom of a great friend of mine, Julie Baldridge, who I grew up with in Fairbanks. And, she, and Marty was the one who, um, I don't know if she taught me the tune, but she definitely uh, gave it to me at some point. Um, it was one of her one of her favorites. And now I associate it with Pete because um, anytime he's at the session and I'm at the session, we always play it. That's a great tune. So we'll start with that one and then we'll go into two tunes after that. First one is Off She Goes. And then the second one is, of course, Mario's theme song, one of Mario's theme songs, Rolling Waves. Great. And I hope some of you play some harmonies at home. <clears throat> First one's slow anyway, so it's all good. One, two, three. <laughs>
Lovely. Lovely. We Love have to say too. our own lovelies. Lovely. Lovely. Um, where's TJ? Is he here? <clears throat> oh, he so. is. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Um, that was nice rhythm at the end. I liked oh, thank that. Thank you. I had to really think about how to put my notes correctly into your rhythm. Um, it managed to work. Like it worked. It worked okay. We didn't yeah. plan it, but it worked. It worked okay. We'll, pe we'll practice it better for next time. Um, okay, so second batch of community uh, pictures real quick. And again, a warning. I'm going to try to get all the details right, but we'll see uh, if it's lot. possible. Okay, yeah. here we go. Who do we have first? Oh, yes. Uh, Is this see. Jill? No. Kathleen, Kathleen Ferraro. Kathleen Ferraro, Buck in Snow. Wow, it looks like it's almost blending in with the snow there. That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Laura Johnson. So she said that she lived in um, Bali for a while. I think we saw a picture from Bali a couple sessions ago. And this is a monkey that just took her earring out of her ear. Oh, no. That's a fat <laughs> monkey. It is fat. Um, and this next one is a, is a monkey that took her glasses. Also extreme fat. <laughs> they are very smart creatures. Okay. And then she went to um, Camp Leakey in, oh gosh, where is this? I'm forgetting now where this is. Um, but she got to see um, gorillas and other sorts of primates. And there's a picture here that she has with um, one named, uh, that's an orangutan, named Tut Tut or Tut Tut. Tut, -tut. Um, she got to hang out. This just looks like my um, ideal situation here. Are those bananas that she's it feeding? Looks like it, yeah. I think it's a female orangutan. That's very cool. Um, okay, now my mom sent some pictures in of wild animals, uh, manatees. My mom and I went on a trip to go see, to swim with manatees actually a few years mm -hmm. ago. Those are not the real manatees. That's my mom and I, just in case you couldn't tell. Um, we also went to this place where you can hold baby alligators, which just doesn't sound like a great idea. You see that its mouth is taped shut. Oh. Yeah. So. Anyways, that's me with a baby alligator. Um, and this is a, a, is a wild animal. This is a fox, obviously, up in Alaska. There are a lot of foxes around, and they are just really cool to be around. They're very sly and um, clever and playful. Um, okay, Peter. Somebody, I yeah. read somebody somewhere that um, somebody described foxes as being... Oh, yeah. They're, uh, it's... It's cat software running on dog hardware. Yes, that's very accurate. So any, um, any of you computer geeks out there <laughs> will appreciate that. Uh, my, my, my ideal type of animal. Yeah. Okay, so Peter Ray Hill sent a bunch of pictures. I'm just going to put two up since we have so many pictures. This is a blue egret, I believe, that stopped by his window and stared into the window. Yeah. <laughs> and he was able to take some pictures wow. because I think it's a one-way mirror sort of window or something like that. Cool. That's um, a really incredible hairdo. I know. The hairdo. It's like a coronavirus mm, hairdo, yeah. actually. Okay. okay. This is from Felicia. Oh, and she titled this one, Pippa the Wild Bear. Oh, my God. So she has three wild animals living in her house. A bear, a shark, and a, a lobster. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, Robert Yelk sent this picture of a kangaroo just waking up from a nap, and he said that his coworkers, he worked in Australia for a while, and his coworkers said you should never wake up a kangaroo because they get really angry when they wake up and they I might bet. kick you, yeah. which is also how I wake up from a nap. Yeah. Confirmed. Um, <laughs> Confirmed. Yeah. Um, okay, and Shannon, and I, I'm, I shouldn't be a, a YouTube host because I forget people's names so much. Shannon Mooncow, is that correct? I am not sure. Okay. Um, she sent uh, some pictures. This is a bear coming into her yard, and I just want to note what an amazing yard that is to have mm -hmm. a bear coming in. This is some deer sitting underneath the living room, um, or the dining room, I think, uh, cooling off. Oh, it's a good lovely place to cool shape. off. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And another fox oh. taking a little nap. Good. Good. And she uh, captured a mountain lion on, I think this might have been a security camera, I'm not sure, um, but a mountain lion on camera, which is a rare feat. Yeah. Gorgeous. Um, okay, and look at these two wild animals talking to each other. Another fox. A fox and a cat. Uh, we had a cat growing up who would go out and sit about six feet from a cat, and they would have a conversation. It was the weirdest and coolest thing. Okay, and last one. Will Garvin, who I taught yesterday, an uh, excellent fiddle student, holding what I think is a garter snake. Oh. Do you know about snakes? Not enough to identify that snake. It's quite cute. And I asked him if these bite, and he said they, they can, but they're, it's just a small bite, yeah. and they're not poisonous. Um, wow. Cool. Great. Okay, so that's all the community pictures. Let me just make sure I didn't, I'm not missing anything here. 
Nope. Okay, we're going to introduce but our... more oh. animals to come. More animals Don't to come. Don't worry, that's not all the animals. There's, <laughs> There's still more. more. That's just all the pictures. Yeah. Um, so we are now going to have our third special guest of the night. This is uh, my friend Sarah Wilfong. We met when I was 16, and she was 17 or 18, I'm not sure, in Ireland, um, which, was my, which was what set this whole train in motion from, yeah. from then to now with me playing Irish music. And she's from Chicago originally and lives in Nashville now. And she prepared a pretty cool selection of tunes. These are not slow play along tunes, but we can't have all slow play along yeah. tunes at the session. So enjoy this um, medley of tunes here. Hello, everybody. Greetings from Nashville. I'm Sarah. I'm so excited to be part of the Mary O session today. This is this is very fun. Um, with the theme being wild animals, I brought out the wildest animals in my stuffed animal collection because that's how I roll. This is a porcupine. His name is Thorn Mallow. He's very squishy and soft. Sorry, Thorny. This is Diego, my beloved rud panda. And this is the matriarch of my collection, Mrs. Bungie, who's been with me for over 20 years at this point. Now, as far as tunes go, I was coming up kind of zilch on the wild animal front. However, I am going to make a weird pivot here. And being one of, you know, millions of people with an internet connection who happened to see Hamilton for the first time in the first week, week and a half, it tickled my funny bone that I happened to know a tune called the Hamilton Rant. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to sort of organize a set around that tune and and have it be storytelling of, of a sort. So I have blatantly shoehorned together a set of tunes that's going to start with the hornpipe Sins of the Fathers by David Meredith, uh, followed by the Revolutionary War tune, The World Turned Upside Down, the aforementioned Hamilton rant, which is written by James Stanley Hamilton, and I think is properly known as Dr. Bob Smith, but Hamilton rant is way better. And we'll end with the Virginia. So here you go, a wild Hamilton set. Thank you. 
Thanks, Sarah. That was awesome. S- thanks, Sarahs. Sarah, Sarah's, Sarah, Sarah, and Sarah. Yes. Um, that was so cool. I love the chords on the last one. Yeah, really nice. Um, excellent. So that's Sarah Wilfong. Check her out. Um, I think she's got a website. I should have put it in the comments. Yeah. Pretty sure she does. Um, and Sarah's mom is in the comments, so she can probably tell us all the cool things um, uh, yeah. that we can go check out of Sarah's. She lives in Nashville. Did I say that? Yes. Oh, sorry. Well, maybe not. She said it. Oh, okay. Yeah, she lives in Nashville. She lives in Nashville. Um, very cool. And I haven't seen her in a long time. Yeah. Possibly since near when this picture was taken that I'm now going to show you. Um, this is Sarah and I. Uh, the first year that I was in college in Boston, and Sarah was also in, uh, in college in Boston. She was going to Berkeley, and I was going to Boston University. And we got dressed up for some event, a dance or something like this that. This looks like you're going to a high school prom or something. I never went to a prom, but this does look like yeah. a prom. And yes, um, we were babies. Yep. We were just babies. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think I've seen her since around that time, actually, which is crazy. Wow. We'll have to remedy that. Um, okay, so a little Tunes Apply note uh, very quickly. You may have received the email today. We completely redid the store. It now actually looks like a store. Yes. Whereas before it just looked like a 90s website or something like that. Um, So if you're in the uh, the market for some tunes or lesson or um, dance and movement video for kids or a gift performance, all sorts of different things, uh, single single tune recordings, things like that, go check out the store. It looks like this now. Woohoo! And that picture over on the right is actually not a picture, it's a video. A video. Of really cool footage from O'Neill's featuring a bunch of people um, who are often in the comments and are our leaders there. That's uh, Isaac and Dan kind of cut off there, but um, it's pretty cool. Go check it out, and it's at uh, store.tunes. We should supply. probably put this somewhere, huh? Sure, or you can just. Um, oh, Chris is going to fix it because he knows how to do the tech. So it's very easy to remember store.tune.supply. And um, the cool thing about the store is it has already managed to put uh, over $10,000 into the hands of musicians, direct into the hands of musicians from orders that have been made at the store. And we want to keep that going because it is helping the community that is um, basically without work right now. Wow, that is big. (laughs) (laughs) That's big. We'll put Um, it in the comments too. Yeah, so go check it out. Even if you don't buy anything, I'm kind of proud of the store because I made it. So go go look at it. It's it looks. I mean, I sound like I'm bragging, but I'm proud of the store. Um, okay, cool. And then uh, we have one more. Oh, we have a, a video submission from um, Michael Eskin. Yes, uh, this, this is, is like another wild animal a secret um, submission. A secret video. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoa! All right. <laughs> Sorry, it, it didn't have any sound, so I was right. I was uh, not paying attention. Um, Michael said those are three babies and a mom. They were just playing in a tub of water outside of his house, and he cute. caught it on the security camera. Very cute. <laughs> I have to say, I, I know a lot of people who live in the city don't like raccoons. I love them. I think they're cute. They're cute and they're smart and they're playful. Often you see them in Central Park. Um, I I really like them. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's have some more tunes. I know we're right. going to go a little over today, but that's okay. We're going to do a lot um, over, actually. That's okay. It's so, okay. Quite a bit it's to okay. Come. In the future, it won't matter. When people watch this in the future, that's true. it doesn't matter. So um, these next tunes are some slip jigs. We'll just do them two times each since we are going a little over. Um, the first one is the butterfly. Second one is come under my dimity, which I frequently get confused with another one, but we're going to try to remember. Uh, I am going to try to remember. And then the last one is kid on the mountain. Um, okay, so E minor, G, G e, minor. e minor. Yeah. So we'll go pretty slow on the first one, and then we'll uh, we'll speed up a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Great. Okay. Well, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
that you were going to go to the Picardy third, oh, the, no. the major. I wouldn't the dare. Oh, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> I, I felt it for a moment and then it went back to the You mind. felt the Picardy third. I felt it. Wow. And then it didn't happen. Or this is really music nerd um, <laughs> talk. It's getting here. to the music nerd part of the night. Um, that was lovely. I enjoyed. Was okay, nice. I usually. I like playing slow. I was just gonna say. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to play those tunes quite slow, and I played the right middle tune, which is yes, good. Yes, that's good. One point for me. Yeah. Uh, okay, and John Redmond's here. And Santiago Molina. And Santiago Molina's here. Excellent. Yeah. Everybody's here. Yeah. That's great. They're coming in late, like a normal session. Yeah. Everybody's arriving yeah. late. Perfect. Um, okay, a couple more pictures, and then we're going to do one more set to end off with. And we, we can't skip the last set because it was the announced fast set. Oh, true. Yeah. So people have probably practiced it. Right. Maybe. Um, okay, so we have an interesting story, again, from um, Tim Satchery, my friend up in Fairbanks, Alaska. And I have to get my notes again because this is a really amazing story. So it involves... Um, deer who yep. got stuck swimming in Alaska. So let me just make sure I have the details right. So fall of 2010, he was in Juneau. That's the Alaska state capital, in case you didn't know, um, staying with his sister and went out on a boat with his brother and sister about 20 miles south of town. They came across four juvenile deer who were swimming in Stevens Passage miles from shore. Mm -hmm. Apparently this is not an unusual thing. The, um, sometimes ju juvenile male deer do this just to be boys basically right. or they go across to other islands I can but relate to this yes exactly but oh, um, these ones were exhausted and cold and they swam right up to the boat mm -hmm. um, they uh, were able to bring them on board the boat they got these four male deer onto the boat I don't even know how they do that and uh, took them about 90 minutes back to Taku Harbor upon arrival one walked off and jumped on the deck and swam off the deck and swam ashore. Three were carried off. Two were able to be coaxed up the de dock and into the woods. And one was so cold that it had to be brought off in a wheelbarrow, which you see here, and then warmed up by rubbing. I can't remember if I put the rubbing picture on or I not. I think so. Okay, these guys are resting on the deck here. And there's actually, okay, this is, uh, Tim is second from the left there, and there's one of the deer going back to the woods. All four of them survived. And um, the amazing thing is, I actually had seen this story, which when he started telling me about it, I was like, I recognize this story. Like on the news or something? Yes, it got oh, cool. picked up by the Junior Empire and the National Enquirer oh. and was on the internet. There's footage of this happening, apparently a video. Oh, and yes, that, stuff. that paper of record, the National Enquirer. Yeah, but I remember, that wasn't right. where I got it from. But I remember it was on, it was on the internet and I yeah, watched yeah. the video and I didn't realize it was my friend who rescued these four deer. That's very cool. So cool. Okay, so that's, you can go probably find more, more footage of that happening. It's an amazing, amazing story. Um, okay, and then our last little video from, um, from a uh, session com goer. Our I keep saying session comer. <laughs> our, uh, from Emer Frio. And she uh, sent in a video. She got to go to the Democratic Republic of Congo and um, uh, explore the wilds looking for gorillas, uh, which she. Whoa. That's a baby. And baby. she said they, she didn't have footage of the um, next little spot where they um, were knocking each other out of trees. Yeah. And she also had a, just an incredible picture of a baby and a wow. mom there. So cool. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Very cool. Okay, so um, we're going to play one more set of tunes here. Oh, we're not doing too bad. We'll be a little over, but a not A little too over, bad. but not, not horrible. Yeah, so we're going to play um, a, a traditional thing to do at the Real Mary O's is play, as your last set, a slow tune into some fast tunes. So that's what we're going to do. We just did a token farewell, which is the usual one we do a couple of weeks ago, or right. I have no idea, sometime recently. So we're going to do the pretty girl milking her cow, one of my favorites, mm -hmm. into some classics. Father Kelly's Mountain Road and Reconciliation. Oh. How did you come up with this? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. They Great. just popped in my head. Yeah. Um, and we'll do these. We'll do Pretty Girl just once and then two times through on the other ones. Um, so since we are a little bit over. Um, and you know what? We're going to go a little fast. On, not super fast, but medium faster fast. since we're all Great. warmed up. Medium fast on these to end off. And then stick around for the for the end because there is There's an one more segment. encore presentation yeah. from my mother. And it's worth seeing. I yeah, just want to say that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go.
E minor. to the time of the air conditioner. Uh, yes, okay, that was great. That was fun. I went a little faster than I intended to. That was, I would call that fast. 
I had to I had to let it out. I had to let it yeah. out. It was the end of the session. You know, it's the last last set of the night. Play it fast. Yeah. Um, okay, so thank you for sticking around uh, for this long, longish session. Longer than normal, but not our longest. Um, so last things, I'll just tell you about who is coming up next on Thursday. Today is Monday, in case you've forgotten, like me. Um, uh, Thursday is our next session, and the leaders are Liz Hanley, which is amazing. Liz, Liz mm -hmm. is a fiddle player, but she also has one of the most gorgeous voices in yes. Irish trad. So. I think she's got a couple songs yeah. for the session. Yeah. Liz Hanley, Hanley with Ellen Murray uh, accompanying her. At, this will be Ellen's fourth or fifth. He's winning. He's yeah. winning the Mario session. Yes. I think it's his fifth time on the session. And then our special guest, of course, is James Cleveland. Oh, yeah. Our That'll favorite, uh, yeah. James Cleveland with Fong. And um, we are going to have a dancer because yeah. we haven't had one since Pat's session. Uh, uh, Ryan McComb is going to play uh, dance some tunes along with Liz. So yeah. that should be cool. The theme is adventure. Uh, that good could theme. be another okay. good picture yeah. theme. You guys really did well with the pictures, overwhelmingly well with the pictures yeah. this time. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed all those pictures. I certainly did. And don't forget, to get, don't forget to contribute if you can. It's right, right here, right there. Right there. Um, that's the link, or you can look down in the description. We'll put it here. I'll put it in the description. And if you're watching from the future, you can still contribute. I just wanted to say that. Yep. It's possible in it the is. future also Indeed. to contribute. Yeah. And the money, as you all know, goes towards um, paying the leaders, the guests, and then making sure this continues and we um, have enough to ensure that we can uh, book more people going forward. So right now we're booked to the end of July, at yep. least. And hopefully more. Hopefully we'll see. beyond that, if we if there's still depends desire on, and need yeah, for it. Yes, it so. depends on uh, whether you guys want it. But for now, we're going at least through the end of July, yeah. except not on July 27th. Right. Just make a note. Um, OK, and then the last thing, this is the bonus video you've all been waiting for. My oh, yes. mom sent this in like right before the session aired, and um, it's great. Here we go. Singing the song. The cradle Oh no! Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Need help. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that was me saying uh oh. But <laughs> uh huh. One escaped. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, mom, thank you for sending that video. <laughs> Very silly. Um. Okay, we forgot to say it's Dan Walsh's birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Dan Walsh. And, and so, somebody else had a birthday, a recent yeah. birthday in the comments. Was and it I, James uh, Cleveland, I think? Oh, James Cleveland. Yeah. Yes, yes. So happy birthday. Uh, okay, and we're. I'm like my brain is overheating, but um, maybe you can do the thank yous. Yeah. Well, we certainly want to um, extend a big thank you to our three special guests tonight, who were Dan Walsh. Happy birthday, Dan Walsh, and um, James Yoshizawa from LA and Sarah Wilfong from Nashville. So thanks everybody. Yeah. And thank you to all of you for submitting your amazing and copious pictures and videos of wild animals. Um, I realized after we started receiving them that I should have broken it down to like land animals and water animals and animals with fur <laughs> and animals with yeah. whatever. So we didn't have so many, but don't you worry, we are gonna have another animal theme soon because I realized the overwhelming need to show the animal pictures which I feel myself. Yes. Um, we are going to do a um, pets theme pets coming theme. up. Yeah. I, Is that the next one? No, no it's, not. it's not. It's later in the month, but yeah. prepare your pets um, yes. for that. Next one is adventure. Right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I think that we are amazingly done for the night. Um, thanks, Only 18 minutes late. Only 18 minutes late. Great. Thanks for joining us again, and um, we will see you on Thursday for the next Mario's virtual session. Good night. All right. Good night.